So what skills do you need to grow beyond the software engineer to accelerate your career, maybe towards like tech lead, um, architect or um, engineering manager or head of engineering? In this video, let's talk about that. So recently I've been thinking about what skills would actually be useful to kind of extend your view beyond that tech bubble that we're always in, right? Because we say, oh, we learn like this language, we learn this framework, we learn that framework. Uh, we need to understand cross-cutting concerns like logging, like monitoring, error handling and architecture and design patterns and that kind of stuff. And these things, like they can keep you busy for a very, very long time, probably for your whole life. But the question is, what skills do you actually need so that you can move into like a tech lead position, for example? Yeah, so for starters, I think you should have very solid technical skills. So you should know at least two programming languages out of which one should be statically typed. So JavaScript or just JavaScript, in my opinion, is just not enough because you need to have like a broad overview over the technologies. Otherwise, you cannot make uh, educated decisions uh, early on in the design process or when you're talking to stakeholders. So I think this is like an absolute must uh, as well as um, specific skills that you might have like as a senior software engineer. So that means like testing, monitoring, uh, logging, uh, messaging, like that kind of stuff. Uh, so you should have all these skills under your belt because otherwise you don't really know like in which direction to go. And then the next step is to think about what skills would actually complement like these tech skills, right? Because it's about getting broader. It's not about going more into detail, but about getting broader. And to get broader, I would say the first step or the most important skill are actually people skills. So that means presentation skills, listening skills. Yeah, listening is actually a skill. So if you don't understand people and you are not able to do requirements elicitation, like as, as people call it, so to understand what people actually want and why they want it, I think then you will have a very hard time moving out of the tech bubble because you will definitely need that. So people skills are like super important, but maybe let's say you want to have a skill that is like closer to tech, right? Then I would say just go for design, right? If you can write front end, a code for front end, if you can write code for back end, then it might be worthwhile to just do a design course, right? Just learn a little bit about visual design, about UI design, about fonts and colors, so that you know what looks good. And so you don't have to be like an expert designer, but like understanding how design works in general can be helpful. It will also be helpful for the presentation skills because you will probably need to make like slides and present it to like business people. Yeah, so if you've developed like your people skills, I think then you can look more towards like a leadership uh, position. And the leadership position would be, for example, the position of a tech lead or like an engineering manager. The tech lead would be obviously more focused on the tech side, but also uh, more involved with people because he's like mentoring like junior developers and more like reviewing pull requests and doing like architectures. So that is like something where you might develop into. So to say, okay, you know all pretty much the tech things that you need to know um, and you have like the people skills. So that kind of qualifies you for a tech lead. Now, if you want to move like beyond that, so to move like to more hands off position, I think then it's more important to understand how to organize people properly. To organize people properly, you need to understand what they are doing. That's why you need like tech skills. That's why it's beneficial to have been like a developer if you are like an engineering manager, because you know what people are doing and with what issues they are dealing. Uh, but in general, you then want to look at more uh, the management uh, type of things. So that means how to conduct like one-on-ones, for example, and how does Scrum work? How does like agile practices work? Maybe you want to get a certification for that as well. You know that you can demonstrate that you know the taste skills. Uh, maybe you have some complementary skills like design or something like that. You know how to deal with people. You know how to do one-on-ones and you can organize a team so that it works in the most efficient way. And I think that is how you can step-by-step step, systematically evolve beyond a software engineer. I mean, you have a lot of time for that, right? So just take things step-by-step. Step. 
So maybe you will say, okay, I'm more comfortable with learning design um, because I've been doing front end work anyway, but I've always just, you know, uh, received like a mock from the designer and then just I implemented it. Uh, well, now you can do that on your own. That would be like a nice first step, right? And then the next step would be, okay, now I'll learn more about uh, people skills, about like um, psychology, about um, listening skills, about empathy. Like empathy is super important. Sometimes you have these people reviewing pull requests and they just say, no, this is wrong. Or like, you are wrong. <laughs> if, if you review pull requests like that, it's going to discourage like other engineers and they will not really they will not feel safe to kind of make mistakes or they will not really like open up. And that's like a big issue. A uh, manager or like a good tech lead kind of knows that and, and supports people in the development. Yeah, so that is my take on how to grow beyond a software engineer. First of all, get the basics done, uh, do front and back end work. Like that's the engineering part. Uh, and then learn complementary skills, something like design, for example. Um, and if you want to move more into the tech lead and uh, later on, maybe also the engineering manager position, just look into uh, people skills. Definitely people skills, uh, requirements, engineering, listening skills, maybe also how to organize teams. So, for example, with Scrum or with Canva. Yeah, so that's it pretty much. What do you think? What is the most important skill to grow as a software engineer? Leave me a comment below. Also, you can reach out to me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at Production Coder. So thank you so much for watching. Smash that like button, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.